Hi, this is Scott Kilo, Sierra 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with another Yaesu FT60 Operator Series video. Now for today I'm not going to be going over punching in any details into the front panel. Instead, this is going to be a mechanical setup kind of video, because we're going to talk about how to set up and run your speaker mic on your Yaesu FT60. In particular, we're going to talk about overcoming a known deficiency with the speaker mic port on this radio. And it is known, and it's not one of those... It's not one of those internet rumor kind of things. This is actually a real deal issue, and it's it's well known enough that Yesu um, actually came out with a countermeasure for this problem with their speaker mics that they were producing for the Yesu FT60. Now this is this speaker mic has since been discontinued, but this is the first speaker mic I bought for this radio. It's a Yesu MH34 speaker mic, and it is definitely designed for the Yesu FT60. And one little piece of gear on this speaker mic that you don't normally see on a speaker mic is this little ring right here. And this is the countermeasure to correct the deficiency on this radio. So let me discuss what that deficiency is. The speaker mic port for the FT60, I'm going to screwdriver out, it's a little easier to pry this open. So it is a single pin port. So it's, a, it's an L-shaped single pin, 3.5 millimeter pin, that goes in the receptacle. And there's a little built-up rubber gasket area around the speaker mic port. Um, I will tell you that removing that doesn't help with this problem. Um, so what the problem is, is when you plug the speaker mic in, if there's nothing applying any side pressure to keep that in place, what can happen is over time, this can actually work its way out just a little bit, about that far. And when it does, it pulls the pin out just far enough to create an open mic situation. So the radio will then begin transmitting as if you were holding the PTT down. That's something that we don't want to have happen. Um, you're going to tie up a net. Hopefully, if you're standing around somebody, they're on the same frequency as you, and you'll get some feedback and pick up on the fact that this has happened. But I've actually seen this happen during a club event where somebody's speaker mic had worked its way out, and they were tying up the net for the entire event for a while, and we tracked them down and pushed that in just a little bit. So it does indeed happen. So what this little ring is, is it was designed by Yesu to provide a little bit of tension to keep that plug in place. And the way it worked is it would slip over the antenna, like a little collar. So you would slide this down. Okay, there we go. Once that's in place, you would then plug it in and then give it a bit of a turn. And then it would provide that tension that would keep the mic or keep the plug in place and it wouldn't work its way out. So, like I say, they knew about the problem. Um, the problem didn't go away. The problem still exists with each successive model. They never corrected the problem at the factory. Um, they just added this little ring to the speaker mic. But if you're using a speaker mic made by someone else, uh, it didn't come with that little ring. But here's something that I found a little troubling is not long ago, Yesu um, replaced the MH34 microphone because it's no longer manufactured and they replaced it with this SSM 17 Alpha microphone. This is intended again for the Yaesu FT60 but also the FT70, the FT3DR, the FT5DR, all of the Yaesus that feature the single pin plug this, mic, this speaker mic will work with. But the problem with the, uh, the SSM 17 Alpha is it does not come with that little tensioner ring. It's not on there. Uh, and I've checked with other people. I've never encountered anyone that's gotten one of these that uh, includes this little piece. And I can't find any place to purchase that little piece. So what do you do now to correct this problem and keep this tension? Now, unfortunately, there's a really easy workaround. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what I do and admittedly what other people have done. A little easier, by the way, to get this off just by unthreading the antenna than to try to pull it up. The rubber coating on the antenna is uh, really doesn't play well with this. But now this can, if you already have uh, an MH34, you can use it on this. Uh, quick pro tip there too, because I've done that. But for those that don't have it, let me show you how to work around this. So what we do, take our speaker mic jack, plug it in. We come across the back of the belt clip. Now on the back of the belt clip there are two holes here. These holes are intended for a lanyard 
to uh, work off of those holes. Instead, what we're going to do is go down to Lowe's or Home Depot or your garage. You might have some of these. Get yourself some of these small, or rather narrow, zip ties. A little bit, uh, quite a bit smaller and narrower than the typical zip ties that we normally work with. And what I'm going to do is just run this through the lanyard hole under the cord. And just kind of snug it down. And I do a second one following the principle that uh, two is one, one is none. And snug that down. So once I get it a little bit snug down, I kind of run down to the other side of the belt clip. I pull it nice and tight. And then snug it down the rest of the way. And then following that, just come in with some side cutters. And we're going to get rid of the tails here. And I try to keep these kind of between the belt clip and the radio itself. So if it's on your, on your waistline, you're not going to be digging into your side or tearing your clothing up. But what that will do is that will provide that, that requisite tension to keep that plug in place and to keep it from backing out. Now we'll add another thing in here. If you happen to be using something like, I don't know, a Spectre Gear uh, belt or modular uh, pouch, uh, belt mounted or modular mounted pouch, it also provides that uh, that side tension for the, the the microphone, or rather the speaker mic jack, so it can also keep it from working its way out. But that's just another subtle pitch for my uh, my day job. But even if I'm running a radio uh, or the radio in a pouch, I still like to use this method because there's a lot of times where I have the radio out of the pouch and it might be on a table, and again, I don't want that to work out. So that's a real quick tip. For you guys that are running the Yaesu FT60, it's it's not a it's not even a semi permanent uh, situation because getting this off is pretty easy. You just go in, just come in and snip the uh, the two zip ties there, and you can have this off in just a, a couple of seconds if necessary. So it's uh, it's not by any means something that's going to mess up your radio or or create a situation that's going to be hard to get out of. So I will bring it to a close at this point. Thank you for watching and our listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra Six Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.